Hi there, welcome back to some introduction to AutoCAD uh, drawing tools. We are going to take a different approach today to drawing and we are going to learn how to do some isometric drawing. Isometric is a view that represents the top, front, and side view of an object in a single drawing rather than using a three view drawing. And in AutoCAD it requires a little bit of a different setup and some some things need to be checked so I'm gonna start you from fresh this is AutoCAD 2017 and I'm gonna start a new file up here I like to just start with the ACAD drawing style now when you take this drawing and get it started there is just a, a 2d layout on the page and there's nothing that would be able to let us draw easily in isometric so the first couple of things that we're going to do is we're going to come down to our snaps and we are going to right click on object snap and we're going to go to object snap settings and what this does is brings up our drafting settings and in object snap we can move over to snap and grid and what we're going to do is change rectangular snap to isometric snap and you'll see that that changes um, a, a lot of things out here on the screen and so all of a sudden now our grid lines are in a 30 degree isometric view and our cursor has changed as well. So our cursor represents which side of the drawing we are going to be drawing on. Right now we are on the uh, front view and if we use the F5 key we can hit that and now we are drawing on the top side view and then if we click it again we are drawing on the right side view so by use by using the F5 key we can rotate between these three different views now that's only half of it the last part of this is that when we try and draw a line we can still draw our line in any angle which we could still use and try and still draw everything on a 30 degree angle but it would require extra effort. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and turn on ortho mode, which is going to restrict our cursor. So now when I get my line tool and I click, I can only draw, despite the fact that my mouse is moving to the right and down, I can only draw up and down. And in this view, on this uh, right side view, I can only draw at a 30 degree angle going up or a 150 degree angle going down the other way. So when I then click and try and draw a line in a different plane, which would be hitting F5 again, now we are looking at the front view. Now I can draw 150 degrees to a different direction. I can still go up and down, but I'm only going 30 degrees in the other direction down. And if I hit F5 one more time, I can no longer go straight up and down and now I can only go off in 30 degree angles um, diagonally. So that's what's going to help us draw this isometric view. Now the drawing that we are going to do is this one, the key plate. It's a very simple drawing so we'll just get started. Um, again you have to realize what direction that you need to draw things in so we're going to draw my line right now because of the grid on the top here I know that I'm looking down basically so I'm going to start my drawing and I'm gonna draw a line that is four and three quarters of an inch long so I'll just type 4.75 there's my line up here now we'll go the side to side which is two and a quarter. So I'll go this way, 2.25, come back this direction again, and you can use your uh, uh, snapping tools to get on there, um, extensions, but we'll just do 4.75 again, and then we'll come back here and we'll snap into the corner. So what I've drawn is just the base, basically like what would be sitting down on the ground, the bottom part of this drawing. So I had four and three quarters this way, two and a quarter this way. Now I'll come up. 
this three quarters of an inch. So now that's going to require me to draw some lines vertically. So we'll draw, get our line tool again, but now uh, I can't draw a line straight up in the air because I'm not drawing, um, I'm only drawing on the top view. So what I have to do is hit F5, and now I'm drawing on either the right side view or the front view. So now I'm drawing on the right side view. I'll draw this line three quarters of an inch, 0.75, and then we can draw over to here to go that way. Now, again, I'm trying to draw this direction, and I can't, so I have to hit F5 again, so now I'm drawing on the front view. We'll go 4.75 this way, come down here, oops, do that one, 0.75, 2 and a quarter, this direction, 4.75, this direction, 2 and a quarter, over to here at the top. Okay, now I can also grab my line tool and go straight up and down in each of the corners. You have to make sure your snaps are going in the right place. And I'm never going to be able to see this corner, so it's not really imperative that I get that lined up in place. And in fact, what will end up happening is we'll end up deleting this line and this line because isometric view is meant to show a solid object on its axes, on its 30 degree axis here. So you never see the hidden lines from underneath there. Okay, so now I have the base of this whole thing drawn. And now we need to start adding these cubes over here that sort of extend vertically into the back part. So from the back, I'm going to go up one and three quarters from the total of the bottom here. I've gone up three quarters already, but I'll go up one and three quarters. I'll draw the upper one up here, and then we'll come down three quarters and then draw the lower one down here. And We know that this is one and an eighth across. So from the bottom, I'll go straight up one and three quarter, 1.75. I'll go over again, 2.25, and I'll come down. That's going to represent the very back of it. And I'll grow, uh, grab from up here, and I'll come forward one inch, forward this way one inch, and then I'll come this direction, across the front this way, Two and a quarter divided by two is one and an eighth, so I know that because it says it's one and an eighth here, I know that the remaining part is one and an eighth as well. So I'll come over this way, this direction, one and an eighth. Sometimes I really like to make sure that my mouse is going exactly where I want the line to go. So even though I'm drawing a short line, I'll drag this, I'll drag my mouse the whole way out here just to make sure that I'm going to be drawing the line the right way. And um, just in case you didn't know, you can also type 1 dash 1 slash 8 to get 1 and an eighth, and then that'll give us that line exact length. Now I just have to connect that back together, and what you see up here is we've gone up, we've drawn the very top of this thing, and now we're going to drop down, and then we're going to draw the rest of it. I do need a line to connect from here straight down but we don't really know how far down that needs to go, so we're just going to drop that line lower than what we need it, and then we'll come back and trim that off in a little bit. We can get rid of that line in the back because we don't need that one. So now we need to come down at either one of these two corners, the three quarters of an inch, that is the height difference in between these two pieces. Grab a line tool, come down three quarter, and then I can also go across the front here again, one inch. Oops, I'm sure that that was right. Drag it across the front one inch, and I'll come right back up again to lock into there. Now this one we can get rid of because that one is just in the way over here. 
And now we're going to just make this last little bit uh, line that comes over to this part because this is this height right here. We have a little bit that sticks up above the, the base part over here. So we'll drag a line, come over this way, and again, we don't have to have it snap into place. In fact, if I let go too close to here, it's just going to snap into the middle like that. I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is drag that line further than where it needs to go and click over here and then we'll trim all this off in a minute. Same thing with this. But now I need a line to come over here to connect the top of this thing together. So now I'll draw from that intersection over this way and just drag it further than it needs to go. This should be one inch right here. We could have either typed in one or just let that drag further. And then the last bit is we need a little tiny line to come straight down here to show us where this part is going to line up with. So there's that. So now before we get a little too confused, let's trim and delete some lines here. So we'll get rid of that, that, this. Don't need that part anymore. Or that, or this, or that. Okay, so now we have this, these two cubes sort of showing up top there. Because there is a fold or a, an edge here, we need to have a line that connects from this part to this part. So that signifies that there is an edge right there. And then the last part of this, we have all of this drawn, we have the big base drawn. The last part of this is that we need to punch this hole through the middle of it. And the hole is from this A corner. We're going to come over three quarters of an inch. That'll be this edge up here. Then we go two and a quarter inches by one inch, and that makes that whole box. So we can just start from this corner up here, and we'll go in a direction this way, three quarters of an inch. So again, I'll just drag my mouse out that way, 0.75. I'm just going to come across the top here. Uh, it's five-eighths of an inch away from this edge. So I'll come over this way five-eighths of an inch, and then that gets us to the starting point of where this box comes in. So now I'll draw a line that goes this way, two and a quarter, 2.25, this way one inch, 2.25, back to the starting point again, one inch. Get rid of these two short lines because they were just there to help us find this part. Now, this hole in the top here has some thickness and it goes through the thickness of the block. So what we need to do is represent that. How do, how do we show that this thing actually has depth? Well, what we're going to do is we know that this is three quarters of an inch deep worth of material. So what we're going to do is come up with a line and come straight down three quarters of an inch, 0.75. So that shows us the same thickness that's on the outside edge of this whole uh, block. But what we need is to show that this has a bottom as well. So what we're going to do is take the top two lines up here. You could have drawn these things separate. You could just draw a new line this way and a new line this way. But I like to take these two top lines and I'm going to copy them from this base point, and drag them down, and lock them onto the bottom base point. And then the only thing that we have to do is trim these shorter, because again, isometric, you never see those other lines. So we'll start from the outside, go in. There we go. And that is our drawing. It is not three-dimensional. It looks three-dimensional, because of it being on the isometric plane. And we can see the right side view. That's the grid that we're showing here. That would be as if we're looking at it from this direction. We can hit F5 and we can look at it from the front side view, which is this direction. So we would see this face and this face. That is the same view as what we're seeing right here. 
and then we can hit F5 again, and it's as if we are looking at it from the top-down view, this direction. And that is the view that we are seeing in this line up here. Hope that was informational. Thanks for watching.